Pikachu, you from the boat. <laughs> it's super effective. Charge painting. Hey. here back with another little face cam thing. Today is going to be my first face cam video, I think, that isn't a special weekly randoms, uh, an LMC message, or an LMC update. So yeah, I mean, well, unless you count, unless you count the vlog I did, but otherwise, um, so, you may remember, um, if you were one of the few people who watched it, <clears throat> um, my weekly random titled FAQ2OP something. Um, well, FAQ2O, or an FAQ2OP, stands for, well, a lot of people know FAQ stands for Frequently Asked Questions. So FAQ2O stands for Frequently Asked Questions to Other People. Because I don't have questions frequently asked about me. I only have like 130 subscribers. <clears throat> so this is um So this is the second one of those, even though the first one was technically considered some of weekly randoms. And I may do some more like about me face cam videos in the past or in the future. Back in the future. Never seen that those movies. Anyway, go well, back to the future. Um also, I'm going to try and do a little more editing in this video than I do in most of my face, my previous face cam videos. Just kind of like, like vloggers like Connor France, I did a lot of editing. You guys ever wonder what, or notice the weird, the word editing is so weird. Editing, editing, edit, edited, edited. <clears throat> anyway, so for this episode of Back to Up, um, as you can tell by the title, SF Truth. Or source fed truth. Pardon. Um, I'm going to be basically as the questions, um, be answering source fed, uh, answering questions asked in, um, or ask, answering truths in source fed truth or dare. Now, um, before I start, I, mean, I said I watched each video in the in the playlist on their channel, in uh, uh, chronological order. So I only watched the ones in the playlist, though. I mean, I've, I've seen all of them, but just use the ones in the playlist because I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. So ones I might have missed if you're a Source Edge fan watching this were Fifty Shades of Elliot, the VidCon edition. I don't really need to mention Epic Beard Time, because that was an all-dare one. Uh, and probably some more. Anyway, let's get to it! <laughs> okay. So, I'm also might- I have to mention, I'm going to be changing some of these questions, because they just don't apply to me. But some of them that don't apply to me are not going to be changed. For example, number one, I'm going to put- I'm going to type the exact, uh, questions here and in a not in show card gothic because it, I want to show like the caps lock I don't know just, just to show like the grammatical errors so first one is first kiss experience I haven't had a first kiss okay second um truth what's a secret fear of yours um well I Secret fear? I can only think of a secret fear. I'll just say, like, some of my fears right now. Um, although I'll save one for later. Uh, <clears throat> one of my, some of my biggest fears, but not my biggest fear, um, includes fire and falling. Not heights, but falling, because I've looked down, I've been on the, I've been in the Empire State Building and looked off the 80th floor's balcony 
not felt scared at all. But I get scared when I climb a ladder. It's just the likelihood of falling that scares me. Like, if I'm more like, I'm, a ladder's more likely to tip than I am to fall off the balcony, unless I'm like, really, like, jumpy and stuff. Number three, when was the last time you cried? I don't know exactly, but I'm going to guess it was probably during, it was at least during summer break. So it had to be recent. I mean, when I yawn a lot, jaw feels weird. When I yawn a lot, um, that, that makes me kind of tear up sometimes. And I also, pr I probably cry laughing more often than I cry sadly. Four. Okay, now this one's not going to apply directly to me, so I'm going to switch the context. So, number four was, what was the craziest thing you've done to get the, an attractive guy's attention? So, obviously that one was asked to a girl. Now, I could switch it to just asking attractive girl's attention, but I've never really done anything that applies to that. So I guess I could have also switched first kiss experience, but whatever. Um, so I'm gonna switch the question to what's something you've done to or for a crush? Well, I have to say, to be perfectly honest, um, my let me careful here. Uh, the one. Well, I, I'm an I'm an annoying kid. I always have been in school, at least since fourth grade. But um. So I guess the one thing I did um, for my crush was to not annoy her. Although I do have a story about, um, a little side story about something a crush has done for me. And I technically I didn't like her at the time. I didn't even have a crush on her when I met her. But um, I was back in first grade. I just like, I've looked back in my life and I realized I think I had a crush on her. Uh, or at least now I would have back then. Now I'm Alright. Um, and it wasn't even a romantic thing. It was just something cool. Um, I remember I was at her, uh, birthday party at Laser Tag. I remember there was one of these claw machines, and back then I was a huge fan of Sonic. So before the, um, before we started playing Laser Tag, I went to the claw machine. I must have done at least three turns trying to get a Sonic doll. I think I still have it in my closet. But, um... Or, like, plush, not doll. Um... Is there really a difference between a plush and a doll? Anyway, um... So... But, um, after... Like, actually, it was, like, literally, like, right before I left the party. Um, she actually got it out of the, uh, machine for me. Anyway, number four. What was... Oh wait, no, I read that one. Number five. Uh, what's well? What was the what was your most embarrassing moment in school? I have two really embarrassing moments. I'll go with the more recent one because I was less of an idiot when it happened. Although this this moment does make me seem like a really big idiot. So it was. Actually, this past year, so freshman year, um, in sci physical science class, uh, there were these, there were these two girls that always, um, just, since we had sat together, or I, I sat between them, um, in class, they always, like, asked whenever we do partner, whenever she split, um, the teacher split us up into partner work. And I mean, when, I, when I say partner work, I mean, like, choose your own partner work. Anyway, um, they would all, just because I was, like, a lot smarter than them, and hopefully would help them get a better grade, they'd all choose, they'd ask if I could be in their group a lot. So, anyway, the seats had changed at this point, so I wasn't sitting between them anymore, but I still sat next to one of them. So, I was just kind of in a brain fart moment when it happens, and I felt like such an idiot. Um, but, uh, the one girl, actually, it doesn't really matter if I said it or Okay, so, Morgan and Presley are the names. So, Morgan is the one sitting next to me. So, 
Morgan tells Morgan asks me if she want uh, uh, if I can be in her group. If she and Presley can be in my group. <clears throat> and I literally I'm not even thinking about and because this isn't always a sexual term, but if you say it all in today's society, it's gonna be sexual. So I literally and I think the entire class heard me, and maybe even the teacher. Oh my god. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god. I literally just said threesome. Number six, uh, what is the most embarrassing place you pass gas? Don't really have a. This question was kind of aimed towards one of the store head members, as you can tell in a comment up there. Weird. Um. But uh, I don't know. I really don't have a most embarrassing place. I mean, everyone has an embarrassing place to pass the best. Or at least I've seen everyone. But, um... So, I really don't have an answer. I guess just any time I've ever farted and it was audible at school. Um, yeah. Number seven. Um, if you wear a bird, who would you oon on? Um... I wear a bird. I'd probably crap. <laughs> to be honest, I'd probably crap on my sister. So sorry if you're watching this call. But, um. No, well, maybe. Maybe my sister. But there are some other options. Um. Anyone else who I need? I don't know. There are probably a couple, a couple people from school. Anyway. So the next one, number eight, is a two parter. So it's. Who is your celebrity crush, and what are you most afraid of? Okay, here's an here's an interesting fact, or here's an odd fact about me. I never, I've never really had a celebrity crush, which is odd for most people, especially guys. Um, or at least I think it's odd. Um, but um, celebrity. Uh, I, I, mean, I never really have been attracted to any celebrities, and technically I've never even been physically attracted to anyone's until I was like 12. Like I never, I could never find a girl hot until then. Like I could see like pretty girls and cute girls, but never, never hot girls until then. I don't know, I was weird. And the second part, what are you most afraid of? Um, so I already mentioned fire and falling, but my biggest fear, and I'm pretty sure I actually have the phobia. Um, I'm not entirely sure though, but um, I have apiophobia, or the fear of aphids. And aphids include bees, wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets, and the other things. Number nine, what are you most insecure about? I don't exactly know what insecure means. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I, well, judging from what the hands in the video, I guess it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, it probably, I haven't given it much thought, but off the top of my head, it's probably be my large amount of OCD moments. Now, I know I don't have OCD, I figured that out, but I am... So, I am so OCD. You know, people who say that term, and they just like have those OCD moments like, I gotta fix that. I gotta just right. Yeah, that, those moments. If you see my last day of school vlog, you would know what I did with the desks in the classroom. Oh my god. I it sounded really wrong in a context. Anyway, okay, number 10. What is the nastiest thing you ever ate? Well, I have weirdest thing I ever ate, which is a probably fake gemstone. I was like five, and I was at my my mom's 
mom's house. My mom's mom's house. Um, and she had this little like dish with like a bunch of like blue and gray uh, gemstones on it. And I remember I'd keep putting a couple in my mouth. Um, but I accidentally swallowed one and I got really panicked. Um, I thought it was gonna like poison me or something. Um, so I'm still here today. I never remember pooping that out. Um, actually I had to be older than five. It must have been like six, seven, or eight. Oh, my dog's barking. Um, someone's mowing the lawn. Anyway. Uh, so much noise. So, um, nas but nastiest thing I ever ate? <laughs> okay, here's an ironic story. I hate Spinach is going to be my least favorite food. But... Well, I mean, least least favorite food that isn't a max mashup of other stuff. So that rules out, like, pies and stuff. I mean, I'm not, I like... I'm not saying I don't like pie, but... Anyway. That's too hard. Okay. Um... OCD moment. Okay. Um. I lost track. But yeah. But. I also. Have you ever had the raviolis with spinach and cheese in them? I love those. But I hate spinach. It's so weird. How was your high school experience? Did you do anything crazy? Okay, well, I'm still in high school. I've only had one year of it. And I really don't think I've ever done anything crazy in high school. I mean, throughout school, I've barely done My whole school, I've barely done anything, like, huge. I've only gone to the principal's office twice. And both times, got off scot-free. The first time was in fifth grade, near the end of the year. I, there was this one of the, we had like the the sinks with like the set hand sensor, um, so you didn't have to get all the germs on the twisty knob things for the sink. There was a sensor sink and it, the the sensor was glitched or something and it wouldn't stop um, pouring out water. And I just thought it'd be funny. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be funny to like put some paper towels over the faucet and just block the water or something. I don't know. Maybe I wanted to see the sink fill up. Well, I got busted. I had no idea it was a bad thing. And I got sent to the principal's office. And I remember, I, I was like Wednesday when I was sent there, but I wasn't able to like get to the principal. So it was actually Friday when I actually met with the principal. But if you think, the principal knew I was a good kid. And he knew I didn't do it intentionally. So he gave me just like a warning, just make sure, just like know what you're doing. And I actually came back to class with a smile on my face. The second time was beginning of sixth grade, so less than a year apart. Um, I don't even remember what I did, I just, something happened, I got there with someone else, and then, and it wasn't a fight, but it was something, it was a more, probably like a verbal version of a fight or something like that. Because I know I would never get into a fight, primarily because I'd lose. So, number 12, what is the worst movie you've ever seen? Well, I'm going to limit it to movies in my draw, my, 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 my genre. Um, because I know there's like so many bad movies. I mean, like, I could say like, uh, like a Barbie movie. But... That's kind of... I'm going to limit stuff in my genre. So... Okay, this can't be the, my, the worst movie I like, I like in my genre. Or worst movie that's in the, my genre. But, um... It's, it's one that I hate. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit 2. I just was so disappointed with the ending of that movie. So sorry if you're a fan of it, but... I just hated how it ended. But I can't say it was the worst because it had stuff like, like, uh, the lady gonna have a baby, she not gonna be moved for 24 hours. My dad is so much better at that than I am. Anyway, 
I think that's going to do it for this half of Fact to Op. Um, this is only half the quest. I literally have 24 questions on here, and I read 12 of them, so that's half. So that's it for this episode of Fact to Op. Anyway, guys, this is Little Minecraft 69, and, uh, see ya! Wow, these are, these need to be clean. <laughs>